Hey, what is up guys? Trex here and welcome to Mini Metro, the game by Dinosaur Polo Cub Club, where you build transit systems in the style of a London Underground map or some other, you know, just city transportation map. And this game is absolutely fantastic. It's sitting at 96% positive reviews on Steam right now, and it deserves every one. If you don't know what this game is, as I just said, you build train lines using different, using maps in the style of the London Underground or something. Uh, this is currently the full game, I believe. Uh, it is out of early access, and there are a ton of of levels, Auckland, New, Ze New Zealand, other levels, and they just get harder as you go. So, yeah, this game is absolutely fantastic, and it's super cheap, and we're going to see how well we can do. Alright, London, we start out fairly small at the beginning, just three stations, but as we continue playing the map, we'll continue to zoom out. Oh, a new station has appeared, so we'll take this line and we'll drag it out here. That'll extend this line, but we will be able to create two new lines in a bit when we get more stations. Alright, another new station. I think that this line is getting a bit crowded, so we're going to draw out another station in the red line. Here we go. Got ourselves another one. We're going to extend this yellow one so that we can save our tunnels. One thing about this game is it has an FTL-like feature, spacebar is the pause button, so you can redo everything. If you want to, you can redo the lines without causing any, tra any passengers to be lost. Let's see, the last time I played this game was about seven or eight months ago, and it didn't even have music then, so already this game is improving vastly from early access and such it is already just an incredible game and it absolutely deserves all of those reviews there's nothing much really to say about this game that can be entertaining the game is just so soothing it doesn't have quirky features it doesn't have laugh out loud moments it's just soothing it's very relaxing it's it does one thing and it does it perfectly so that it doesn't need to do anything else. It doesn't need to be funny. It doesn't need to have glitches and stuff. It's so simple. It just works. Alright, I'm going to choose to get two tunnels because we still have an unused line. Uh, so that way we can take these lines through the river to the other side. Alright, got our first station on the other side of the river. So let's take the yellow line and create ourselves a nice little tunnel. There we go. Off to the other side. Passengers will be able to go under the Thames, I believe, is the river in London. Correct me if I'm wrong, games with Warcraft. Although, I don't know if you live in London, but I don't know. What's the river that runs through London? I think it's the Thames. I could be wrong. I'm sorry. You want to see something real cool? I pause the game and just completely delete this yellow line. We have a map of the Austin transit system. I should probably put this back. Oh, this this line is really far out. So let's take the blue line and drag that down here. And we'll be able to use this line to expand around in various areas. We still have one more locomotive, so I'm going to place this on the yellow line because this is our most popular and central line. But when the next time comes, and when the end of the week comes, which is tomorrow, we will get ourselves another locomotive because, or another line, because this yellow line is starting to get a bit stressed out. All right, got a new locomotive. We could either get a carriage or a line. I don't think we need a line, so I'll just grab a carriage and put this on that full car right there so that we can be more effective and we'll take the other locomotive and put it on the blue line because that is a very long line. So if you've noticed, at the beginning of the video, the map was zoomed into about here, I'd say. We've zoomed all the way out. Now you can actually see it slowly zooming out. Like, there we go. Uh, did you notice it? It just slowly zooms out. It's 
very soothing and very, very subtle. Alright, so these lines only really connect in one place. So we're going to take this red line, we're going to connect it down here. That's going to use up both our tunnels, so we can't do that necessarily. That's not a great idea. So let's undo that. Let's instead finish it here and we can connect the blue line there and we can connect this line over here I'm not sure I'm not sure but I think this is good for now all right we're gonna get ourselves ooh what does an interchange do I don't know what it does so we're gonna get a new line so that we can sort of clear out this area get a different line going and be more effective but until then we'll just have to wait for this line to dissipate and we'll connect it up here and there the red line is starting to get a little overloaded we will complete the loop however oh we can't do that oh is that what an interchange does uh, allow us to cross over I'm not sure Okay, I've sort of formed these two lines into loops so that they run in a circuit. So hopefully they will be able to carry some more passengers. We're going to attach a carriage to the red line and another locomotive to the blue line. Actually, we'll take the carriage. No, wait, wait. We'll take the carriage from the blue line. Carriage and put it on the blue line. So that way we have locomotives on the red line and two locomotives and a carriage on the red line. New station appeared right on the line. That's interesting. I believe, oh, okay, thank goodness. I, ooh, night, ooh, oh, 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 that looks sick, but oh well. I believe that the most people I've ever served is about 468-ish, I want to say, and we are about to surpass that. I believe that we just beat my old record. So if we can get to 500, it'll definitely be a new record for me. But things are starting to get stressful, this game gets intense, it gets exhilarating, that blood starts to pound in your ears as you just say one more person come on train you can get there but you know deep down they can't we need another locomotive for this light blue line or else we are done for this is intense but i think we can pull it off oh man this blue line we've got to further increase its range but is that really a good idea i think not let's take that off put it back here and we'll take the red line because that is slightly less distance. The locomotive, thank goodness. Ooh, let's just get a new line. Um, let's take this locomotive, put it on the. Wow, that station was full of people. That was so close. This is officially the best I've ever done on the London map, but we could die in just a second if a train doesn't reach this station. Oh, come on. Oh, thank God goodness they made it in time the weight has dissipated oh man this is getting stressful oh we should reorganize this but i fear it might be too late okay stations are starting to fill up this is getting stressful it's like an actual underground station but we are saved with an extra carriage let's we definitely need to put this on the blue line and we'll attach a green line just going across all of the stations. How about? Just like that, I suppose. Actually, we need to hit the tuna station somehow. So let's get it down there and bring it up to a close. Oh, no, we're done for. Oh, we couldn't get a look of there in time and that's it game over 886 passengers over 43 days that is the best i have ever done 
but that is Mini Metro, an absolutely fantastic game. Go out and get it. It's pretty cheap, I believe. It is absolutely stunning. And that's it. That's Mini Metro. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all next time. Goodbye.